What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about the five sets for success. And in this video, we are going to be discussing how we like to beat man coverage and the idea and concept of having a man beater in your arsenal at all times to where if you see your opponent running a lot of heavy man-to-man -man defense, you can attack it with your man beating formation. Now, one of the things that I like to look for against man coverage in this year's game is the press on the outside. Typically, when your opponent has a press alignment, that is a quick tell that you could potentially be in two man under. Another thing that is a tell uh, potentially if your opponent is in man coverage is if he baselines or if he doesn't. We're going to go over those two things today. We're going to go over how to beat man coverage and we're going to also go over to some just generic basic concepts uh, for beating man. So the play, the formation we like to use to beat man coverage uh, is the shotgun bunch, empty bunch. Um, but basically, guys, what I would say as far as getting formations to beat man-to-man -man defense, you want to look for formations that have, uh, first of all, you want to have two-by-two two sets or bounce sets. And the reason you want to do that is because typically in man coverage, they're going to man a line. And so there's no advantage to using trips and bunch formations. There is an advantage to using a bunch because it's compressed. There's no advantage to using like tray open or trips uh, in terms of just solely focusing on beating man. That's why we like formations like shotgun snugs, shotgun tight doubles on, shotgun tight from Arizona's playbook, and also shotgun empty bunch from the Minnesota playbook. All right, guys, so how we beat man-to-man -man coverage, and as you see here, you see how this is what a base line look would look like. Okay, if they were base line, this is what it would look like. And you see, we can you know kind of challenge that uh, pretty easy in terms of in terms of a base line. We talked about how we like to use trips formations when your opponent base lines. So when they're man aligned like this, they're over the guy. We like to really use man beaters. And so one of the best ways to man, beat man this year is to put a drag on the left side of the field, motion him out about four or five steps, snap, and you see how he gets that inside position, and now you're off to the races. And then basically the generic concept for this is to use natural picks, rubs, and crossing patterns. So out of the play divide wheel, we really like the crossing patterns that we get uh, from our square receiver and our R1 and how they mesh together to create a very balanced man beater. Another thing that we like to do to beat man to man coverage is use our tight ends because tight ends are unbumpable in man 25. And so what we like to do is we like to put them on basic routes, but when a tight end is unbumpable, they will beat almost any man man coverage in the game. So we like to take our tight end, which in this case is Giovanni Bernard. Uh, he lines up as the tight end in this situation. We like to put him on an in route, and then we're going to motion over Avell Hawkins here, and we can put him on an in route as well. And now we're creating uh, a concept that is called mesh and what we see here is both of these routes are going to get those unbumpable inside positions cross up the defenders and do a very good job at beating man coverage so that covers the mesh as well as the cross and now we're going to use uh, we also talked a little bit about motion snaps and then lastly i want to talk about a universal man beater from any formation and and, and this is how you can create a mesh uh, from any formation in man 25. We like to use a zig pattern in combination with a drag pattern, and we uh, obviously for here there's things you can do to make that drag a little bit more effective, but as we see, the pass lead up drag is very effective for beating man coverage, but do uh, be, mi uh, be mindful that you want to pass lead up that drag route um, before he crosses the uh, offensive line of scrimmage. Once he hits the offensive line of scrimmage, which we'll show you here, if we wait, 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 now pass lead it up, you see how the cornerback will react? Just like that drag tip from a couple of videos ago, you have to throw it before he passes line of scrimmage, whereas the tip from a little bit ago with the motion snap drag is we like to throw the motion snap drag uh, when he starts to cross the line of scrimmage. So just a couple of different things that you need to be uh, be aware of there. So when you're using motion snaps, you want to throw it after he crosses, and then when you're not using motion snaps, you want to you want to throw it before he crosses. But again, it's a pass lead up, so just 12 o'clock, and uh, you're just going to throw that drag with a pass lead up. That's a universal way of beating man to man coverage. Another thing I really like to do to beat man, and this is going to be the last thing we talk about, is when we're in this bunch set. And like I said, there's no advantage to having a trip set if they are in a man-to-man -man defense. So what we like to do is we like to take advantage of 
um, Marvin Jones being able to put him on a hitch route because hitch routes are unbumpable. This is a tip that was taught to us by Ryan Dykes from nextgenmadden.com, youtube.com slash Rye Dykes. His uh, channel link should be in my description below. Uh, but anyway, we'll put our Marvin Jones here on a hitch route. Then we'll smart route that hit route. So it's basically a curl route. And I accidentally motioned out Eifert here. But you want to motion Marvin Jones outside to the outside. So it's basically like you're running a curl flat out route or something like that. But you see these hitch routes are unbumpable and they're very effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Little tactics like that really helps a lot with beating man. But there is no uh, tactic that's more effective than using these cross-up patterns uh, like we get from the divide wheel or even like we get from the bunch out from the Minnesota playbook. So you want to look for plays like this in your own playbook you don't have to use these specific plays but you do want to look for similarities uh, as you see almost every team will you'll have some type of a compressed formation whether it be a shotgun bunch whether it be um, a shotgun tight a shotgun tight doubles on um, a shotgun five wide receiver bunch uh, a single back snug single back tight single back tight doubles very few playbooks do not have these formations and uh, i think that these sets are vital to beating man-to-man -man coverage but again, if you're, for, for example, if you're in a spread set like we are to that right side, then you could use the tip that I talked about earlier, which is putting that outside receiver on a drag and pass leading him up. And you see that we have a very effective man beater uh, when we do something like that. Another good thing to beat man is wheel routes. Uh, just a snap, throw, pass lead to the outside. Uh, but there's several routes that beat man. But what man-to-man -man coverage is all about is all about using crossing patterns and different types of motion snaps to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 25. I hope this tip was relevant to you. I hope it impacted you in some way. If it did, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like rating on the video and maybe potentially sharing it on Twitter and Facebook. And also, guys, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, or problems with this video, uh, please let me know in the comments. And also, if you just want to engage in some discussion with me, uh, I will be replying to my comments as soon as I get them. I, I try to get back with the comments daily. Um, and also, guys, if you had to talk a little bit deeper uh, in terms of longer discussion, you might potentially consider hitting me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash at MaddenTips365. That's my Twitter name. And also, guys, real quick, I just want to let you know some future things that are coming. Um, I'm bringing back my blog, and I've been working on a whole new layout for the blog, and I'm going to try to get it out, and I'm going to try to have a blog for each video. Um, that way you can have everything written up nice and neat for you guys to lab and understand. So it's going to be a great uh, addition to our channel. Other than that, guys, that's all I have for you. Be sure, again, to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're not already for more Madden 25 content. And also be sure to check out some of the other videos we have coming today because we are finally back on our four-video-a-day schedule. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was beneficial, and we'll see you later today.